today I will demo my site selected admin uh, web part. Not so much code demo necessarily, but focus on, on functionality. A little bit about myself. Uh, Fredrik Thorild, live in Sweden, Westeros, uh, work for Society. Uh, I guess I am one of those seasoned SharePoint developers. I, I've done my fair share of uh, farm solutions and, and, and so on and so forth, and uh, still loving it. Uh, I'm also recently up, up to contributing to, to the various projects and uh, great fun doing that. So I'm happy to be uh, uh, on that track. Uh, my Twitter details, LinkedIn details in there. Uh, uh, happy to spend time with my family and so on and so forth. Uh, so a little bit of context then, I guess, for uh, the reason on, on why I built this. Uh, I was very happy, I guess a lot of you were as well, when they announced uh, on February 11th, I, I believe, exactly one month ago, uh, that now they will support uh, specific SharePoint uh, site access uh, via the graph. Um, so basically in, in the past, it has been uh, accessing SharePoint via the graph, you, you need to give sort of full access or no access at all. So, so this, this was a very much appreciated uh, addition. Um, so I was, was really, really happy about that. Um, and um, well, actually we can, we can stay over here because uh, one of the facts stated in this blog post was that uh, initially uh, you need to, to actually use another AD app to, to grant the access and you need to do that sort of from, from a developer's perspective, uh, which makes sense. I mean, this is an early release, so hopefully it will come uh, with an UI capability where you can manage your sites, uh, but not yet. Uh, so I saw this tweet, uh, which kind of triggered me, like uh, he, he felt kind of the same way as I, I guess, uh, that it's a, uh, he says that I just wish it didn't require developer support. Uh, and I got thinking like, hey, maybe we can build this uh, via an SPFX uh, web part. So, so that's kind of the, the background, I guess. Uh, and, and I mean, given the fact that it's really easy to, to access the graph via SPFX. So, so that's sort of the background. So with that said, let me do some demo. Um, so I'm going to open up my browser again and we can go over here to the Azure AD. Uh, I do have uh, an app registration which is called selected uh, for this purpose. Uh, you can see that I have added on the uh, site selected API permission thing here. Uh, I should also say it is in preview. Um, so on uh, uh, let me switch over to Visual Studio. There we go. Uh, so I have a console application in here uh, where I am using th that app registration called Selected. And I'm going to try to get some data from a site uh, called Fo. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, so uh, I haven't done any configuration. So the expected outcome here is that I don't have it any access because, uh, again, I only have the site selected, permission granted, which doesn't give you any access uh, per default. So let's press F5. You can minimize that. And uh, you can see that the HTTP code was forbidden. So that's where my web part comes in, I guess. So back over here and to my tenant. Uh, and here's my web part installed on page. So I'm going to talk a little bit more uh, about it in, in detail. But first, let's go ahead with my sort of scenario that, that I have going on. Uh, so I'm going to quickly move over to this tab, add remove sites to apps. And you can see that here I have some Azure AD apps uh, listed. And I do have my specific app listed as well, selected. So I'm going to highlight that. Um, add app permission. I'm going to copy this very URL to this site because this is the site that I want to connect to via the graph. Uh, pasting in that one, uh, let's go with read. That should be enough. So I'm going to grant that access. Uh, yay, success. And now if we go back over here, we should expect, uh, well, not forbidden, more of a 200 uh, status code. F5. 
and we do have a okay answer back uh, from that one. Uh, so that's that's kind of the the main purpose of the web part, I, I would say. But again, I'll, I'll show you some of the details uh, uh, for it as well. Uh, we can actually go into edit mode. And I, I'll show you one of the key things uh, in here. Uh, if I go to edit, uh, you can see that there is a GUID. It's actually shipped with my web part because this one is sort of the, the identity of uh, this. Uh, sort of the site selected application scope uh, thing. Uh, I have double checked that that was the same GUID in at least uh, another tenant uh, than this one. So I guess that this is uh, the same for, for, uh, for all the tenants. However, if that is not the case, uh, I made it uh, in, yeah, so you can change it. The web part does have this uh, sort of welcome page, says a little bit of what it can do and, and so on. Good to know uh, a little bit of that. You can hide that, nothing fancy. Uh, and then let's just republish. So uh, the list of apps in here is actually only apps that has the site selected uh, uh, scope on it. Uh, so you can see if I go back into uh, here, well, maybe one step further. Uh, I do have some other apps registered. Uh, so uh, when the when the web part starts up, it actually fetches a list of, of uh, more or less all apps, and then it filters on only apps that that has the site selected scope on it. And uh, after that, you can go ahead and highlight the app. And when you do, uh, you you get two options up up here you can add app permissions or you can go ahead and clear app per permissions uh, and as you could see when i did the demo you need to enter a url to the site because it not doesn't necessarily has to be this site obviously you can enter in which whichever site you want and then you just go ahead and press grant and similarly if you want to revoke access for some reason you can go ahead and do that as well so again same concept you just do like this click remove and hopefully it will be green uh, like it was there. there. Uh, and you can then also uh, flip over to this tab where you can enter in a site and you can get back uh, the current permissions on that site. So I was a bit lazy in here. I actually just paste the, the JSON object, but I, I do have a specific reason for that as well. Uh, so just an empty array here. So let's uh, I guess I removed a few apps. We can go ahead and add this. Done. So now we have read access. No, I don't, don't want to clear. I want to check. So like so. <clears throat> so I, I, I paste kind of the object that you get back from, from the graph API. Uh, so I guess when you look at the, at the documentation, uh, it says when you go ahead and click get site permission uh, it says uh, that you should get back what kind of role that you have at the moment but I, I don't see that I get that at the moment uh, but it is kind of one of the reasons that I, I just had the, the pure JSON message uh, coming back uh, so, so that would have been nice I guess to see what kind of access this app currently has to, to this site uh, maybe something that comes uh, later um, right, uh, so, so I guess that is it for, for, for the web part as such. Like I said, I will not jump into that much of code, but somewhere I should have. Yeah, here we go. So fairly simple setup. I mean, uh, not as uh, uh, impressive function wise as the previous presenters is. It's more like a it solves a cool problem, I think. Uh, but uh, as Hugo mentioned, I just did an update to the, the project going from uh, class components to function components. Uh, I'm not a huge React guy, but, but it does. Uh, it is nice that you don't have to, to type this all over the place. So, so that's that's nice. But I still do have a lot to learn on, on the React side. Uh, but I think actually that I, I'm going to cut it for, for, for now. Uh, again, focus on functionality. Uh, but you can find the code, obviously, over in, uh, in GitHub. So thank you for listening. Thank All you right. very much for those <laughs> demos.